Welcome back, Devils fans. And the past couple days, the Prudential Center was home to a Drake and Lil Wayne concert for two nights in a row. And given the special occasion, some of the New Jersey Devils were asked their favorite Drake song as they were stepping onto the ice for practice yesterday. And I found this segment to be very interesting, so I'm going to talk about it here a little bit. Uh, being an 80s kid, I personally like a wide range of music. Pretty much, you know, I like a little bit of everything. And Drake is definitely at the top of my personal favorite list <clears throat> as one of the best, you know, rappers, songwriters, etc. of the past 15 years or so. And so I thought this was a very interesting segment. They asked, obviously, because it was topical, Drake was in the building for the concert. So they asked the boys what some of their favorite Drake songs were. And I thought that this would be a good time to kind of come on here and break this down. Um, I've been a Drake fan since the, his very beginning and back in 2009 as he was a protege of Lil Wayne. I was a very big Lil Wayne fan. So I was an early adapter, if you will, of Drake. Huge fan of his. Saw him in a little show with a few hundred people in New York City years ago before he really blew up. I actually had the pleasure of briefly meeting him in the summer of 2010. And you could see here a much skinnier, younger, and tanner version of myself with Mr. Drizzy Drake, Aubrey Graham here in the summer of 2010. And what a time to be a youngster. And let's just get into it. So we start off with the Devil's selections. And first up is Curtis hey, Lazar, who selects. It's a nice little intro. A slightly gangster selection by Mr. Curtis Lazar. I don't know that I would have predicted anyone to pick that, but an interesting pick nonetheless. And then the next up was Nico. He Very shared. great song. Best I ever had. And with Nico's pick, he picks pretty much the, the standard Drake blockbuster that set it all off. You know, a lot of girls be thinking my songs are about them. This is not to get confused. This one's for you. Baby, you my AJ. You all I ever wanted. We could do it real big. Bigger than you ever done it. You be up on everything. Now the whole thing never on it. I want this forever. I swear I could spend whatever on it. Cause she hold me down every time I hit her. What an absolute blockbuster. This song was on every radio station for quite some time, jammed down your throats. You couldn't escape it on terrestrial radio. And an interesting pick from Mr. Nico Heeshear, pretty much picking the standard Drake offering throughout his extensive career and extensive catalog. And then, and quite possibly was the most shocking um, selection for me, Jesper Bratt is next. My name the grave over here. And Jesper Bratt decides to go a little more gangster with Money in the Grave. Yeah. Great track, by the way. Little CC on that beat. Mm. Gotta love yeah, yeah. Lil CC on the beat. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got hoes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps wasn't facts, so they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I could tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got Lil Max with me, he the way. It's a big gap between us and the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, put my money in the when I die, Wow, what a track. What a what a throwback track from Drake. A little surprised by Jesper Bratt's selection there. <clears throat> and next up with perhaps 
one of the most predictable track selections to me is Mr. Jonas Siegenthaler. Oh, Mr. Siegenthaler goes with Passion Fruit, which would have been on probably, if I had to guess three tracks for him, it definitely would have been one. It's a little more of a, you know, a little bit more of a chill Euro club vibe. There's kind of a long intro on here as well. So we'll just... Kind of fitting for Mr. Siegenthaler, I think. You know, a little Euro club vibes for Jonas Siegenthaler. And then next up was Big Ball. Uh, Kevin Wall with his selection. Both, maybe? And Kevin Ball goes with both, with which is actually a Gucci main song featuring Drake. This is Gucci. Drake's part's coming up. Interesting pick from Mr. Kevin Ball. And next up, fresh off his involvement in the opening line brawl against the Rangers, Mr. Chris Tierney is on deck and with Ten his selection. Tierney picks another one I'm a big fan of, Ten Bands. Ten Bands, 50 Bands, 100 Bands, fuck it, man. Let's just not even discuss it, man. OMG. Nigga sleep. I ain't tripping. I'm gonna let him sleep. I ain't tripping. Let him rest in peace. I can tell you how it happened. I can tell you about the safe house nights out in Calabasas. I can tell you not a rap. Trying to set a story. I don't even open up the package. Who you with? What you playing? I was paying mama's rent when I was turning 17. So the dirty like that and I never clean. My ex asked me where you moving. I say on the better. Ten bands. Classic Drizzy track. Great storytelling from Mr. Aubrey Graham. And next on deck to make their selection is Dawson Mercer. Dawson Mercer. I don't know which one. They're all good. Does not officially give a selection for his favorite Drake song. And we finally end the segment with Nick DeSimone, who I have kind of fallen in love with over the past couple weeks with his shot blocking and a little bit of his slightly more snarl than other guys on the blue line and Nick D. Simone picks and this is a little bit off the board off the board, off the board, off the board Marvin's room classic Marvin's room another long intro Let's skip to the, the, the meat and potato and sit you pick up I know he's not drunk right now i love i love when drake incorporates the actual voicemail clips um into the songs it's pretty funny i think one chick tried to sue him for using her her voicemail clip in the song but have been a big drake fan forever i thought that was a very entertaining segment by the new jersey devil so i thought i'd just make a little video about it i'm curious to know let me know in the comments if you do like drake what is your favorite drake song and as for me much like um you know, asking someone to pick their favorite child or in a, in a recent live chat, someone asked me my favorite piece of devil's memorabilia. It is so hard to isolate one, one particular 
but I'll give you a couple of my favorite Drake songs. One of them for sure is this classic. Started from the bottom. Absolutely love the song. Um, Started. Yeah, it's hard for me to pick one, but this is definitely on the list. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. I also like Successful a lot. Would very be high on my list as well. A very, very old school off of his mixtape so far gone. I love this song. This kind of has a long build up too. But. Yeah, nickels for my thoughts. Dimes in my uh, bed. Successful definitely up there. Lines in my head. Take my verses too serious. You hate me because I'm the one to paint a vivid picture. No HD. Yeah, I want it all. That's why I strive for it. This me, you'll never. God's plan, obviously a top selection for me, top five probably. It's hard, it's hard. The catalog is very deep over a very long span. I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love it on me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they... Yeah, too hard for me to pick just one. Would be very curious to see for those of you that are also Drake fans, throw out your favorite song in the comments. Um, very interesting selections made by the boys before heading onto the ice. And I'll have to go with, if I had to pick who, who made the best selection, I might have to go with Jesper Bratt with Money in the Grave. Probably my favorite song of the songs that they all picked, and I did not see that coming. I guess, you know, Jesper is a little more gangster than I give him credit for. And uh, seeing Jesper Bratt roll around in his fancy car, bumping money in the grave at a traffic light would certainly make my day and um, would be pretty hilarious to see. But Jesper Bratt, money in the grave will be my selection for the best pick by any of the boys during the segment. Throw it out there in the comments what you guys think of their picks, your favorite song. Be back soon. Talk to you all soon. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go 